guys, I am back with a new vlog, this time ranking the albums of one of my favourite Norwegian black metal bands, Shooter. I'm just going to show my cool, finally got a bolt thrower shirt, that's really awesome. Um, I've just got back from Bloodstock Festival where I saw about 50 bands, I bought loads of cool stuff like music wise, cassettes, CDs, one vinyl being the new Hooded Menace which I now have on all three formats. Um, so yeah, it's been a really great weekend. Um, you can see all the photos and such on my Instagram. I'm not going to go too in-depth on it here because there's way too much to tell and pictures tell a thousand words. So um, first up, this isn't really an album, but the and this isn't really in the ranking, but the Throne of the Goat reissue with the original recordings and re-recordings. I got number 633 out of 2000. If only I'd have waited until 66 more people got, got copies, that'd be cool to have 666. Um, I believe most of these are on Season of Mist, uh, that's Drakkar, yeah these are all Season of Mist reissues, so yeah that's really cool, if you want to hear like a comparison between I think it was 94, no 97 and 2017, so 30 years, no, yes, some years apart, uh, 20 years sorry, my brain completely fried on me then, it was released this year, I think in March or something like that, so yeah, the 20th anniversary edition of that, that's really cool. Um, first up is Demonic Possession. It's a really great album. I love everything the band have done, but something has to come last. Um, and I just don't think the songwriting was as good here. However, Primeval Fear is one of the best shooter songs. Um, next up, I would have to go with Legion Helvete, which is hell in Norwegian, as I'm sure many of you by now know. The Demon Throne and Slacht and uh, Blood or Ash are great songs, but, um, you know, they have, they have better stuff, so still worth checking out. And this is a cool edition with, like, a uh, embossed uh, medal kind of thing. Next up will be... Um, which one did I... Uh, Kill for Satan. I really like this album. Uh, Dying Spirits and Sodomizing the Lamb and Demon's Journey are particularly good songs from here. This is sort of um, it's quite a good one to have as your first shooter album. It's the second full length they did. Uh, it gives you a nice rounded idea of how the band sound. Next up we have The Latest, which I have on CD, and The White Cassette, both on Season of Mist. Um, anti Leaf, which is Anti-Life in Norwegian. It's a really good album. It's a bit... Um, Big jump in production from the first four, then going on to this being the fifth. It's much better production, which you're either going to love or hate. But Shooter are kind of renowned for that incredibly well. But for such a large band to have uh, such a lo-fi recording standard is certainly a bold move that's really paid off for them. They've stuck true to their sound. They've been kind of relentlessly uncompromising in how they do things and... I respect the hell out of that. I got to see their first UK show and I have a signed poster from it, which is really cool. They're really nice guys. Anyway, in final place is the album that I actually got last to complete my collection at Bloodstock, Desert Northern Hell, the third full-length album. This is the 2018 season of Mist reissue with four previously unreleased, I believe, live bonus tracks and the live DVD, which is something and something, uh... The Norwegian Apocalypse Oslo vs. Sunders, which is um, like two gigs they did in September of 2005, I think it was, which I need to actually get around to watching. So I think that's a really nice addition to complete the set with. I don't actually have any of their vinyl at this point, no LPs or uh, singles, but I do hope to get them. So that's really, really um, one of my favourite Norwegian black metal bands, which... Despite being half Norwegian myself, I gen I genuinely prefer Swedish black metal, um, like Silencer, Shining, Vatain, Marduk, uh, Life Lover, Van Helga. Like there's a, there's a lot more kind of unique bands, but there's a good handful of the Norwegian bands such as Shooter, Dark Throne, Mayhem, Gorgoroth, the obvious ones. Then three to bands I think Vreda Norwegian, um, Campfire, the more kind of pagan black metal that works really well. So yeah, that is the relatively small i sort of i won't do a ranking for f anything less than five such as like winter sun or gruesome they only have like two three albums it just seems a bit pointless at this point i may do them at some point especially when they have more but five seems a good amount especially with the ep pulling in at six so 
that's my ranking for Shooter. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm sure I will be doing more soon when I get more music. I'm sort of a, a bit bankrupt for the next week and a bit um, after Bloodstock, because I spent about £400 on music, but worth it. I got some rare and cool goodies. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It, you can see all the photos of my stuff on Instagram at nasskog underscore JSK, link in the description, along with my Discogs where you can check out my collection. Um, I've got a website which is basically just a compilation of links to various things I do. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay brutal.